live. What's up, fam? Hey, come on now. Come on now. I got a couple minutes. I got to get out of here. I got a meeting to go to. Um, and I got to do some real quick stuff. So come on, fam. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. I know some of y'all busy. Some of y'all in church. And I know some of y'all looking at the plate, shaking your head because it was three plates here yesterday. At least three in the third. Right? And now it's only one. Look at that. And I know y'all, I'm like, I've been complaining about my stomach. I've been, but I'm trying, fam, right? I'm trying. Peace. Uh, shouts out to Diamond Ingram. Shouts out to Brother Khalif. Um, shouts out to Shaka Siung Hasbury. Yo, we're about to pull these libations for these ancestors and get things popping off real quick. Peace. Uh, so, if you have ancestors that you want want to salute, you want me to do it while I'm doing it, you go and post them up. Um, or you can go and toast for yourself. I'm going to invite Brother uh, Khalif. Because I don't this invite shit. Somebody need to come, go and explain this to me, right? Because you're already on the timeline, but it says I has to, have to invite you, so I'm inviting you. Hopefully, you accept the invitation, right? Um, Shouts out to Diamond Ingram. Um, I see you got a comedy show coming up. Um, if you could post up some of the information, um, post up some of the information about the uh, comedy show that you got coming up. Uh, I don't even know what the invite is. Somebody just turned down the invite. Okay, cool. Now, um, what was I going to say? So, my body's not reacting right. Um, I don't know what's going on. I didn't break my fast right, so, you know, I got to pay the piper, right? So, but we still up here pouring these libations. Those that those people that have ancestors they want to salute, you can post them up on the timeline or you can do it yourself. Get yourself a glass, family. We grown, we grown folks around here. We toast with glasses, right? Um, second, if you have any special things you, you want us to pour libations for at the end, let us know, right? You know, because it's people that pick up on this all over the place. I was up at Whole Foods yesterday. I shot a video because I wanted to make sure that just because uh, Amazon bought Whole Foods, I wanted to make sure that their beer selection didn't fall into the toilet. And, you know, they passed the inspection. I went and I gave them the inspection, and they passed the beer inspection yesterday. So I'll be posting up that video about my adventures up there um, drinking, at that, drinking that beer. But, hey. Now, so what we're going to do, we're about to do this toast. I'm going to take my rhodiola, you know. So when I'm starting to take these herbs, what I'm going to do prior to taking the herbs, whenever I'm going to sample herbs, I'm going to do a fast before so that I can get the full effect of the herb. All right. Um, because, you know, a lot of times we be trying to take herbs and our bodies are 30. For those that don't know what this is, this is a sourdough. That I um that I created using that ambrosia, right? Um, I have one with uh, oatmeal, and I have just one with um, cacao, um, hemp seed, um, chia seeds, raisins, cranberries. Damn. What this is why I'm fucked up. I learned how to bake. Family is incredible. Um, but you'd be amazed the things you can learn and how quick you can learn them. All right. So, we're going to do libations. First, you know we got to drink the water. Right now, I'm using Crystal Geyser. I'm slumming right now. Come on, no, you know the rules. We gotta hydrate. We gotta hydrate. That's eight ounces. I try to do thirty-two ounces. Come on, fam. Let's get it. By the way, great Imani.
at 16. Oh, man, excuse me. Here's 32. And uh, shouts out to Miss Lynn Logan Grimes. Thank you for joining us. Checking out Rodeola. Also known as the Golden Root. Now let's do this toast. Now, what I have here, this is called the Death Eater Vinegar. All right, so I have a brand of ambrosia called Death Eater, right? I call it Death Eater because it is made of two of the most underrated herbs, dandelion root burdock root death eater look up dandelion root look up burdock root check out the power of those two and i would suggest that you add them to your um add them to your diet add them to your supplements you know what i'm saying these are two of the most powerful herbs this is a vinegar that i made basically i let the ambrosia sit for a very long time and it produced the vinegar then i mix some more of the tea in with a little bit of honey so this is going to be a strong drink so i'm going to do it more like a shot because vinegar is good for when you're making salads vinegar is good for just like like for example when you want to do shots of stuff right so i'm going to do uh, not a whole glass of that because my body is already you know i'm suffering right now y'all see i'm getting my weight back right get my weight back but I don't know I might have broke something you know um, be careful when you're doing the fast family the intermittent fast you could be how you want to do but when you do extended fasts be careful with the fast because you got to plan it from beginning to end I didn't I just planned from beginning you know and I thought I could just come back and do what I want to do you know what I'm saying but I'm not 20 no more I'm I'm approaching 50 years old and I may have fucked up my body in a way that I might not be able to repair it again. I'm just being I'm just being all the way honest. That's why, like I said, I do stuff, I experiment, you we can learn, you know what I'm saying? I can bounce back or whatever. We're gonna work it out. That's how that's how Brother How Tim get down. We're gonna work it out, right? Because I want everybody to understand that we learn together. Right? I want everybody to understand that we learn together, right? Because anybody that got, uh, be, uh, be aware of anybody that got ultimate knowledge, right? They got all the answers. Be aware if they, you know what I'm saying, they don't have any questions themselves, right? Because usually what that means, damn, what does it mean when y'all decline? I don't understand. What does this invite shit and then why is people declining? I don't understand. All right. Um, uh... Be aware of anybody who has all the answers, man. That's all I'm going to say, right? You know, I've been caught up in some of those traps where motherfuckers got all the answers and shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying? Usually what that means is they got all the answers. They're the ultimate leader and all that. And they're going to just usually lead you in a direction that's going to mess you up. So I don't have a full glass of the vinegar, but I'm going to sip and see how it does me. All right? So, but we're going to do this. We're going to first give honor to the creator by whatever name. You choose to call that creator. We call on that infinite energy. We call on that infinite power. We call and we lift up our glasses to the creator by whatever name you choose. And we say, I say. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We started this so that we could celebrate our personal ancestors because it's important for us. 
as black people to start remembering our personal ancestors. It's cool to remember the big names like Malcolm X. It's cool to remember the big names like Martin Luther King. It's cool to, to, to remember um, the, 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 the great names, right? But it's also important to remember those names that made you, right? Most of us didn't have a personal experience with Marcus Garvey. Most of us didn't have a personal experience with Martin Luther King. Most of us didn't have a personal experience with uh, uh, Malcolm X. But we had a personal experience with our big mama. We had a personal experience uh, experience with our, our Mima or our Peepaws or, or our grandmothers and our grandfathers. We had those personal experiences. And we need to go on and make sure that they know that we appreciated that even though they might not be around to accept appreciation by us lifting up our glass and remembering them, by us pouring for them on a daily basis, by us drinking and keeping ourselves healthy for them, we salute our ancestors. Shouts out to Miss Aisha Essex. Shouts out to uh, Miss Sandra Moody. Um, once again, I'm pushed to invite and see how that go. Um, I see she on the broadcast, but I don't understand. But anyway... So I'm lifting out my glass to our personal ancestors, family. We got to start saluting our personal family line. And I want everybody to constantly think about this. Think about this. There are, if you just go back 20 generations, family, there's over a million people who had to be in the exact right place at the exact right time for you to be where you are right now. A million people, over a million people. Listen, you have over a million ancestors just in the last 400 years that came together to create you. You are the highest point of evolution in your family. And I keep on stressing this. What are you doing with it? What are you doing? Right? Are you taking your family to the next level? Are you taking your tribe to the next level? You know what I'm saying? Or are you sitting on the couch just wasting time? Family. We lift up our ancestors, right? So, um, I'm going to say my personal ancestors. If you have some you want to share, I will gladly shout them out. Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert, Robert and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia and William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, uh, Cleveland Brown. Avira Brown, uh, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown II, um, Gina Gaines, um, Jamon Jones, um, John Fillard, uh, Montague Pittman L, Normal X, Sapat Ma Ra, um, Dr. Marianne Williams, uh, Brother Kojo, Kamal, um, Mark Walsh, uh, Tony Clark, Elder Farmer, Elder Hairston, Elder Donaldson, um, Elder Millie, uh, who else? Pastor Yusuf Weston. I call all those ancestors, and I say I say. From there, move to our children. Uh, my fault is present moment. We toast today. Today is Imani. Uh, for those that don't know, Imani means faith. Uh, the Maotic principle for the day is harmony. Um, the Hermetic law is gender. Male name, Quasi. Female name, I got to find, I mess up on the female name. I got to rewrite that. I can't remember what the female name for the day is. So we lift up our glass for this moment because our power line and we say our shame. From there, we move to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. Two of mine are back on the couch, kind of upset because they can't get on because their hair not done. And I'm not trying to have that discussion with their mom. So they will not be on this one. So we lift up and we toast our children. Because everything that we build, everything that we think, everything that we say, everything we do affects them. So we lift up our glass to them and we say our shame. From there, we move to you. We toast you and any of the special struggles that you have out there, any of the special libations that you would like us to salute. So we toast you and 
We keep you in our thoughts. We keep you in our energy. And like I said, post up your stuff. Because I'm telling you, after, I mean, a lot of people don't be on when I do it early in the morning. Because usually uh, during um, a moja through me, I'm up at like, we do it at 4.15. But, you know, I mean, there's a lot of people on this. So there's a lot of energy going out there. So if you have any issues, post them up. We toast them. All right. With that, we say, Ashe. 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 I wish you peace, power, joy, and 100 years. I forgot to say it. Bring them out. 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 All right. Let's see. I'm about to taste this for the first time. Let's see. Woo! Not bad, but not good. But it's gonna clean me out. I need to be cleaned out, family. The only thing that can make this better is a smoothie. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna make it better, family. That vinegar rough. But I'm gonna do this. I'm going to get up off here. I still got to do my uh, YouTube show. Those that are not subscribed to the YouTube channel, come on, fam. Get up. Subscribe because that's where we do our discussion today. We are going to talk about archetypes and the importance of archetypes and how because our archetypes have been created by other people. How they don't benefit us. All right, so we're going to sample this and then I'm going to let y'all go, Facebook, and I'm going to get to my other show. So I get out of here and make it to the meeting I wanted to go to this morning. I say, that's not bad. Hmm. And vinegar mixed well with the fruit. So we're going to talk about archetypes. For those that don't know what archetypes are, archetypes are like the major images that people have in their unconscious that help guide their actions, right? So we're going to talk about some of these archetypes. We're going to talk about the archetypes that have been laid out for us. Now, in the people's collective unconscious, you have these, these archetypes, right? But what happens when the people's collective unconscious is hijacked? What happens when a pe people's collective unconscious is, is, is being controlled by outsiders? We're going to talk about the images that appeared in. All right? Oh, yeah. It is good, baby. Mm-hmm. The vinegar balances out that fruit. It ain't too sweet. And not too sour. Real good. All right. So, this is Brother Hot Tim. I'm out. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I will see y'all tomorrow on the Moja. Peace.